Science annual supply our kids drive kicks off this morning. How you can help our local kiddos get prepared for the upcoming school year. <laughs> oh yeah, the oh. time is coming. I remember just dreading it as a kid. The time all the kiddos cry and all the moms are thrilled. <laughs> moms and dads, <laughs> get them out of there. All right, time now is 843. A record number of kittens need homes right now. Yeah, you might hear them over there crying on our set. We've got two ready to go home today. How you can adopt Connor and Connie on this week's Pet Pals. Five o'clock on uh, this Wednesday, Hump Day. Hope you're having a good start to your day. I'm John Dabkovich. And I'm Shannon Moore. Thanks so much for joining us. So I want to take a second to acknowledge the stack of scripts that was just handed to us. I was thinking the same thing. Look at that. We're going we're gonna to tell you everything that's in here. Getting work out this morning. In the next two hours, <laughs> you're going to get all of this. Uh, wow, I mean, you know, Cassandra was saying this is going to be the coolest day of the week. That's... Mm -hmm. That's really um, encouraging. Yeah. <laughs> it's supposed to get hotter as the week progresses. I think we saw 109 out there on the forecast. The 10th annual Unleashed by Petco Surf Dog Contest <laughs> took place on Saturday. More than 50 pets competed according to their size. That guy's going backwards. It's impressive. Proceeds from the event went towards the San Diego Humane Society. Okay. And dog trainers say getting a dog to surf requires a whole lot of practice and, of course, yeah. a lot of trust between the pet and its owner. I could imagine. My, my dog, dog wouldn't would even be, go near the water. No, I was just less. saying, my dog would yeah. not be doing well in that. <laughs> New York State Lottery officials are hoping a simple picture will get the attention of their newest millionaire. Take a look at this. They're using a stick oh, figure totally to try to find the winner of a $7 million ticket. Lottery yeah. officials don't know if it's a man or a woman, but they have until tomorrow to claim yeah, their prize. It's a Broncos and, hat. Oh, yeah, look, look at that. that. And my legs, I've been told my legs are that skinny. You're right. That, it looks just me. like you. Yeah. Wow. I, know, I normally don't wear my uh, my hat to the side, but this was a year ago. Yeah. So I might have, I, you I, know, back then you were a little more reckless. A, a little bit, yeah. yeah. I was. I think I was more into boy bands that you know that year. <laughs> uh, Lauren Oy and Chuck Inman performed at a surfing competition in Hawaii. Woo! That's cool. They took the sport to a whole new level. Lifts, poses, and balance. The video first appeared on Facebook and has gotten hundreds of comments. That's crazy. Talk about upper body strength. Well, first of all, I couldn't do that standing on the no. ground, much less on a surfboard. Wow. Thank you. Yeah, here we go again. We want to help thousands of Clark County school kids start the year off right by giving them the supplies they need. Yeah, this is such an exciting time of year. That's why we want to check in with Fox Eyes Monica Jackson, joining us live from Southwest Medical Associates this morning on Eastern and Harmon with our annual Supply Our Student Drive. Hey there, Monica. All right, uh, so if you didn't know, if you, if you haven't gone out shopping yet, today <laughs> is National S'mores Day. Yeah. And a Las Vegas eatery is using the day as an opportunity to help send kids to camp. How appropriate. That's the thing about working this shift. When you have weird hours, everything looks appealing to you at this hour. It's not just breakfast food. We eat all kinds of food at this Well, time. I think anybody that's up this early kind of <laughs> has the same thing. You s'mores, know. pizza, anything and everything. I am not above s'mores at 6 o'clock in the morning. That is, <laughs> that is for not. sure. 555 now is your time. They say you can't teach an old dog new tricks. But if a dog wants something bad enough, he will figure out a way to get it. Here's proof of that. Max, the German Shepherd, apparently got tired of waiting for his owners to fill his water bowl. So just go straight <laughs> to the source yourself. Now, we were saying earlier that if you're one of their guests, can we get you some water or something? I'll take a bottle. Mm, no, thanks. Not from that. Yeah, no, <laughs> He's too okay. cute, though. You can't get mad at him. 